Uh, and now we're ready to go outside um, and have a look at that square foot bucket garden. Carrots. Spring onions. Leeks. Broad beans. Beetroot. Lettuce. Lettuce. Potato. Parsnips. Runner beans. Chives. Onions. Celery. Wild strawberries. Shallots. Mint. This is a square foot bucket bed. Uh, I think you'll agree, within a short space of time, things have really shot on. Um, there's vegetables in here we're eating already, some of the herbs we're eating, uh, but others take a little longer. Uh, and we'll have to wait till they develop. Uh, I'm going to try and get you a close up now on all these buckets. Um, and as you'll see, there are some casualties. Uh, but I think I've mentioned it earlier in the video, we do have a plan. The first bucket we look at has broad beans growing in it, dwarf broad beans. And already you can see there's a casualty, maybe even two. These are my onions. Four onions, they look quite strong. Onions are growing okay. These are the spring onions, four bunches of spring onions. Yeah, they're growing on nicely. These are my carrots, still quite small. A bit sparse in this pot, one or two of these seeds haven't germinated. But it looks to be as though there's 20 or more carrots growing in that pot. If we get that pot to maturity we'll be happy with that. This is the potato growing in a in a bucket. It's looking good. This is a lettuce called iceberg. Um, it's ready for harvesting. There's a few iceberg in that bucket and we'll be taking those over the next few weeks. This is a lettuce called Tom Thumb. Tom Thumb's ready to be harvested and we'll be taking some Tom Thumb over the coming weeks. There's four beetroot in this pot. Uh, they've all got a good old and they're all growing on strongly. These are definitely four onions growing in this pot. The four onions you saw earlier were four leeks, and they're a leek called Musselburgh. These are my chives. The chives are ready and we've been taking chives, uh, so we're already taking chives as we need them. This is for dwarf beans. Uh, one of them's looking quite sickly, I'm not too sure if it'll make it, but that's four dwarf runner beans. We've got four parsnips growing in this bucket, um, I think it's a bit of a stretch really, these buckets are only 10 inches deep so I'll be quite surprised if we get uh, any sizeable parsnips out, but we're giving them a go anyway. This is the mint, mint's been ready for a week or two now and we're taking the mint as we need it. 
these are my shallots. Um, one of the shallots looks as though it's uh, it's not going to make it. So out of the four shallots growing in a bucket, we've now got three shallots growing in a bucket. This is the only fruit uh, in this um, square foot bucket bed. And this is a wild strawberry, one we found in the garden and we planted up. There's four heads of celery in this bucket uh, and they're looking quite strong. So we're quite happy with the way this celery is developing. Well I hope you enjoyed that tour of the square foot uh, bucket garden. We'll have another look at it in a few weeks time. But so far, so good. This is homegrown veg, signing out.
Hello. We're going to have a look at the um, square foot bucket garden shortly. Uh, but I've got to tell you, it won't look like what it looked like in the two previous videos. And that's because I've had to move every single bucket to get the buckets out of the wind. Now I know I've already said that if you've got a prevailing wind, you can just move buckets from one side of the um, bucket garden to the other. But we had some serious wind last week. It came out of the north and it was cold and it was strong. And the bucket garden was right in its path. So I moved all the buckets up next to my property and afforded them some shelter. Uh, not completely out of the wind, but some shelter. It carried on like that for two or three days and then overnight the wind switched to the south and it was just as strong and it was just as cold and the bucket garden, although it was up against the property, was exposed and I had to move the buckets again. Well, I've just put them back in their square foot bucket garden arrangement now uh, and we'll have a look at them. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think. Okay, come on, we'll go and have a look at this. Come on, sweetheart. Yeah. Let's uh, take a quick look at what's growing in this square foot bucket garden um, and then we'll have a look at each individual bucket and I'll tell you what my plans are. Over here, we've got some dwarf broad beans. In the middle of this front row, we've got some lettuce and some more lettuce. On the end of the front row, we've got some dwarf runner beans. Behind the dwarf runner beans are some beetroot. And next to the beetroot are some parsnips. Next to the parsnips we have some shallots and on the end of that second row we've got some carrots. Behind the carrots we have some leeks and in the next bucket we have some onions. Along from the onions we have some chives and next to the chives we have a bucket with some spring onions in it. Behind the spring onions is a bucket with mint growing in it and next to that is a bucket with celery growing in it. Next to the celery we have a potato grown in a bucket and on the very end at the back the only fruit growing in this square foot bucket garden is a wild strawberry. Okay, let's take a closer look at all this veg. This bucket had four dwarf broad beans growing in it until recently and I have some wind protection around them. But unfortunately three of them have died. There is only one dwarf broad bean in that bucket. So I'm going to take that bucket out of the square foot bucket garden now and replace it with a, a reserve bucket of Swiss chard. Two for the price of one here. Um, there are iceberg lettuce growing in the bucket on the left and little gem growing in the bucket on the right. Uh, we've had about six lettuce out of these two buckets over the last few weeks. Uh, I hope you can see that I've actually replaced them with seedlings. Um, so we're eating our lettuce. These are the dwarf runner beans. Uh, we've managed to keep four of them going. Uh, we've got this wind protection in place. Uh, let's see how they go. This is my beetroot. There are four beetroot growing in this bucket. They seem to be doing okay.
four parsnips in this bucket. I'm not too sure how well you're getting this, but there are definitely four parsnips and they are growing. And this is a first for me, parsnips in a bucket. These shallots have started to fall over uh, a bit prematurely really. Uh, so I'm going to harvest them, I'm going to take that bucket out and I'm going to replace that bucket with a bucket that I have some uh, broccoli growing in. Another reserve going into the bed. Right on the end here we have this bucket of carrots. Um, and we're quite happy with those so far. They look okay, they look healthy. Right, let's have a look at those leeks. These are the leeks, four leeks in the bucket. Um, I think I'll pull this bucket out of shot so I can let you see the onions better. And these are my onions, four onions. As you can see, they've got windbreaks on as well. Um, yeah, so we'll go back into there and we'll pop these leeks back in here. These are the wild strawberries. Um, as you can see, there's quite a few flowers on there now. But what you probably can't see is there is some fruit developing just under the leaves. I'll see if I can part those leaves and let you see the fruit. Okay, now there's not a lot yet, but there is some fruit developing, so we are going to get some wild strawberries. This is the potato grown in a bucket. It's just starting to flower. Bucket, just one single potato in a 10 inch water bucket. This is my celery. There are four heads of celery in there, I'm not too sure. Now you probably can't say that, but there are definitely four good heads of celery growing in that uh, 10 inch water bucket. On the end here we've got this lovely, lovely pot of mint here. Smell this. Hey, that's mint. Come on. Those are my... Um, Spring onions, sometimes referred to as green onions. Uh, I'll be taking a bunch of these today, later today. I'm quite pleased with those. And in behind those, I hope you can see this, these are the uh, chives. That's a pot of chives. Chives have already flowered um, and we've been taking chives as we've needed them. And we've been taking mint as we've needed that. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, we're starting to get some um, vegetables out of this bed now. We've already had lettuce. Um, we're taking mint as we need it, we're taking chives as we need it and I'm going to be taking some spring onions uh, later today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.